Welcome guys to the 8th tutorial of PLC automation with Select Flexis Rail PLC and this is Gagan from lifelearnings.com. This tutorial is about the off delay timer and a pulse timer of the PLC. I will first discuss about the off delay timer. In this timer we have 4 variables input, preset value, current value and enable output. So let's move to the cell pro software. Create a new project in cell pro software and go to edit wizard expand the function block and this is the off delay timer required for this video tutorial first i will place a no contact then this off delay timer double click on the pv which is a preset value of the timer click on add variable the initial value of this variable is the time required for the application suppose i need three seconds so type t then hash 3s for three seconds click ok PV value is assigned, double click on CV, click on add variable and click on OK. So one variable is assigned to PV which will store the time required for the application and uh, one variable for CV which will capture the current time of the timer. Now connect one coil to ENO pin of the timer which is enable output. Double click on the coil and assign a memory address, click add variable and I am using MX0 for this coil, click OK. Double click on the contact and assign a physical address. I will select this DI underscore 0. Go for offline simulation. Initially the output is off and the input is also off. So when you double click on this contact it will activate the timer and you can see the output is activated but the time, current value of the time is not incrementing. So again double click on this input to release the input and you will see it will start counting the time and when the value of CV is equal to PV then it will turn off the output. A timer of delay will turn off the output after a specific amount of delay. So from the simulation observation when the input for a timer of delay is high it will set the CV value to 0 and at the same time it will activate the ENO pin and the timer will not start its timing until unless we are not making the input pin low or we are not releasing the input and when we release the input the CV will start counting the time and when CV is equal to PV then ENO pin becomes low and it will deactivate the output. Now let's play with the pulse timer. First place a ENO contact then this is the pulse timer double click on it you can see the variables are same for this timer and for this off delay timer the only difference is in its working double click on the pv click on add variable and again assign a value for time i will go for five seconds so type t hash then 5s click on ok double click on cv add variable and click on ok Connect one coil to the ENO pin of this timer. Double click on contact. Assign a different input address. I will use DI underscore one. Double click on the coil and assign any address physical or virtual. I will go for the virtual address or memory address MX1. Click OK. Now go for offline simulation. To activate the pulse timer we have to provide a pulse to its end pin. That's why its name is pulse timer. So to provide a high to low pulse for this timer double click on this contact and again double click on the contact double click again double click and you can see the status of coil is on and CV is counting the time and when CV is equal to PV it will turn off the output and CV will again come back to zero let's see the operation once more double click on the contact again double click on the contact to provide the pulse output is on cv is equal to pv at the same time the output is off and the cv will reset to zero so for a pulse timer we have same four variables input preset value current value and enable output but the behavior is different we have to provide a high to low pulse on in pin of the timer then the timer will activate the ENO pin and at the same time the CV will start its timing and it will go up to the PV value. So whenever the CV value is equal to PV value, the ENO becomes low, means output becomes low and at the same time the CV will be reset to zero. So that we can again provide a pulse to activate the timer. 
you have to practice on these timers and you can use more than one timer in your application and thanks for watching stay in contact and don't forget to subscribe the channel